Oh, fucking Christ. Fuck, I'm so ugly. Hello, all you beautiful people out there. What is going on? This is your friend, Brittany, coming at you fast with some really cool Paragon skins and hero concepts. Now, a lot of this stuff you might have already seen elsewhere, but my friend Sockcap, big shout out to him, took the liberty and just went on a mission and he acquired a lot of different concept arts for skins and unreleased heroes for me and i'm just gonna go through them in this video you might see some new stuff in here uh i will put these links in the description below if you want to peruse them yourself but we're just gonna try and do this as quickly as possible because there's so many things here uh for example here you see Patton, who is like a big version of murdoch but he actually seems to be played kind of like a caster we can actually see uh, his what his abilities would have been in some other concept art. This one is like a big cat troll dude. That's exactly what uh, it is called here in these images. Some sort of skin. Uh, looks like a skin for a different hero. Don't know exactly. This one is actually a hero called Marsh. You might have heard of him before. He's like this swamp kind of crazy hero uh, that... Uh, actually does have some abilities that were supposed to be real in a different one of these links and then there's like some sort of ninja gaiden super hands down genji looking hero right just total total stereotypical ninja character in any game so some pretty cool stuff there you have this guy who reminds me a lot of like of Groot <laughs> from Marvel right he's just this big tree dude his name is Igor uh, this was supposed to be his ultimate where he like doubled in size which begs the question is like is he a tank like is that is he a jungler or is that what he was supposed to be some different concepts for him and his skin and his faces and stuff so that's pretty cool this one's crazy this was a spider named hatch that was supposed to come out he and he was supposedly gonna be able to climb on walls and make spider webs and stuff and and climb all over them but there were troubles with his mechanics this is how his face was going to open up when he was going to shoot projectiles. Right? It's just crazy looking spider. Not human at all. Not humanoid. Just a big ass creepy looking spider. And uh, this is the concept artist kind of rotating him around and stuff. So pretty uh, pretty insane, man. Pretty insane. It's a shame that we have we didn't see these heroes incorporated into the game. They were working on like six or seven that weren't even incorporated. Which is pretty crazy. Here we see some concept skins. This is a Morgash Egyptian skin. We saw that Raven skin on Revenant come out. Some Narbash skins here. We saw the Jack O' Lantern Narbash. This is a cool Greystone skin here. Gravestone ca uh, Caveman. Rampage Crab skin. Sarith Northern like Viking type skin right here. We have a really cool Grux skin in my opinion. You guys know my favorite was Grux. A medieval looking Grux skin there. And then a cybernetic futuristic grux skin right there really cool and a mayan grux kind of prehistoric grux as well you can see it looks like a triceratops almost some basic wraith skins there some cool cyberpunk aurora skins i think people have seen these skins in the past in other places uh summer time aurora skin muriel uh, air force skin muriel tokyo skin uh countess shadow ops skin and then Countess Vampire Rogue skin, and then there is the Samurai Countess skin that was actually incorporated into Core's Proof of Concept. We actually saw this skin. Uh, some people are going to be asking, like, can we get these skins in Core or Predecessor? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, not a lot, unless there were already models within the engine, like Countess, uh, Samurai Countess was, for example. Uh, as concepts, they were never really incorporated anywhere, so... Core and Predecessor can use these images as inspiration, but they can't copy them one for one because they don't really exist. And uh, technically, I'm, I'm pretty sure the art belongs to Epic, so that would also be a, a, some sort of copyright. I'm not exactly too sure, but uh, yeah, that's that's essentially a, a fact remains that you can't take what is a concept and have it in the game one for one because it just wasn't created yet. These are all just concepts. They weren't ever implemented into the game yet. This was Marsh, uh, the guy that I was talking about is kind of a crazy slime oid looking thing here. Pretty uh, insane uh, looking dude. Kind of similar to Morgash where he just lives in the swamp and shit. Uh, here are some concept uh, abilities. So here we had Yin, right? So all the concept abilities for Yin and stuff. 
uh, which is pretty cool. We know what she did. Here was Patton. So again, the guy that we started off in the beginning, the big old Murdoch dude. This is why I think he was a caster. Uh, so his left mouse button, that big cannon thing that he has uh, right here, this thing is like a mixture between a grenade launcher and a shotgun. Like you could take this off, so you got a body count right there, but you could take that off and turn it into a shotgun. And so that's kind of what he used for his auto attacks with his left mouse button. His right mouse button will toggle a grenade launcher. So my guess is that you could toggle between two different modes of fire, a close range, high damage AOE shotgun blast, or a long range grenade, kind of like howitzer's rockets. And then Q, you shoot out electrical plasma root and damage enemy longer you shoot, longer the root will be. So you kind of just stun them out and kind of like, zzz, you know, like tase them. And they kind of just get rooted in place for as long as you're there. I'm assuming you want to be able to move with this. His E would allow him to hover in the mid air and he could dodge melee attacks. So that big jetpack that he has here on his back could be used to hover up in air. So that would be pretty cool. And then he would be able to dodge melee ranged attacks. He can also use all of his other abilities while he's in midair, by the way. So that would be cool. But I'm assuming there would be a constant mana drain. He can maneuver while he is hovering. Uh, and he can use his abilities while he is hovering. And then his ultimate, he would shoot out three rockets to blow up enemies with AoE damage. That's kind of why I think he, was, he would be a caster. Because he just has so much AoE damage with this kit. I don't see him being anything else. Uh, here are some other heroes that were concepts but were never implemented into the game. Uh, you had this guy whose name is Adam. And... He, by these illustrations, he looks like he's this tornado looking thing. Just a bunch of metal pieces floating together with the power of wind. So you just have a left mouse button attack, just use a regular ranged attack. His right mouse button would allow him to dash three times. And then after each dash, he would stand still. So he would just dash real quick, dash real quick, dash real quick. Kind of like crunch, I'm assuming. His Q would just be this wave of wind essentially kind of like countess's was just go through minions and hit the enemy and then his e he could i guess i guess he would be able to be invincible to damage or at least projectiles like projectiles would just go through him that was his e i'm assuming that's what it would be is that he could just dodge a projectile by becoming less viscous right just turning into air completely and just spreading out and dodging arrows right there and then his ultimate is every time he uses an ability, his next auto attack will have huge damage. So it seems to me like he's some sort of... He, he, he just he seemed like he would have been some sort of caster. Maybe he could have been a, uh, a tank of some sort. Maybe he could have been a, a long range tank, a long range jungler, who knows. And then here you have another one called Hydro, which is just a mask with water making up a body. And so his E ability would create like this AOE around him called water lock. And then with the water lock, the enemy's damage will be reduced and enemies will also move slower. So this is some sort of tank hero. I, I think he's like a tanky support. And you'll see what I mean with these abilities. His Q ability, basically he just turns into a puddle and makes like this little stream of water on the ground. And when your allies walk across it, they will run faster. His, uh, let's move on to his right mouse button. His right mouse button just looks like he makes a, a scythe out of his arm or something and he just slashes the enemy. Maybe it's like a little knockup. Uh, maybe it's a stun. Probably a knockup though by, by, by this image. It looks like he's knocking up the enemy right there. So that could be like a little knockup. Crowd control there. And then his R ability is that he can take his allies with him and he can traverse a great distance. He can take his allies carry them with this water and just leap from place to place uh so that's pretty cool uh, that's why i think he's a support because all of his abilities seem to help you know he tanks for his allies he makes his allies move faster he carries them right and then like a stun or a knock up over here and then we see drongo down here but we already know what drongo did and then we have zinx here as well we know what zinx did as well although some different concepts here okay we see that there's some different concepts uh, for zinx that uh, she's not as crazy as it was uh, so that'd be cool uh to see how the zinx would have played with those concepts and then here is marsh right so he actually had abilities he was really close to being incorporated into the game uh, almost as close as boris was and we could see some premature abilities here glob attack his right mouse button was a shifting mire so marsh 
splashes down into a mobile puddle. He is invulnerable while in the state, moves more slowly, and leaves behind a trail of muck that deals damage over time. He also has increased health regeneration. Explosive Spore summons an Explosive Spore. Uh, Marsh deals damage to nearby enemies with his Infection Splash. And a passive is when Marsh deals ability damage to a target, he also applies a stack of Infection to that target. Infection slows targets, and Marsh heals from damage dealt to infected targets. And then Pestilence are targets an enemy hero to receive Pestilence. It deals damage over time to that target. After one second, it jumps to the closest enemy unit within range. Pestilence can spread indefinitely and deals double damage to minions. So it's just like just this crazy virus that could be spread. He's just like this fungal creature, this toxic fungal creature. No, I'm not talking about some Paragon players. I'm talking about actual toxicity here, spreading between creatures and poisoning them and stuff. So this would have been a really interesting kit. And then this last one I have is just a ton of concept art, right? Griffey and Screech, a skin for Scourge, a skin for Sarath here. The Ice Princess, Glacial Empress, uh, Aurora skin is one that we actually got. There's actually a zombie version here too, which is pretty interesting. Uh, it's just some crazy, crazy stuff. A Greystone skin, a Twin Blast skin, a Sparrow skin right here. So you guys can go ahead and just click through the, uh, these links and look at them on your own. Del Deliath, like some new character here that we haven't seen before. Just crazy, crazy. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe Deliath is just the name of the artist who did this because this looks a lot like... Uh, looks a lot like just another Aurora skin. But uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Just a lot of crazy stuff going on here. So you guys can check, a check this out for yourselves. Take a look. Some Bellica skins there. This was absolutely incredible. Thank you, Sockcat, for going through the trouble of taking these getting these uh images for me here's that super cybernetic futuristic grux skin that we looked at earlier here is a norse grux viking edition badass dude badass bro honestly chimera viking edition robot chimera severog like cthulhu severog egyptian severog eagle severog crazy witch severog i don't even know, oni severog crocodile face severog some crazy Narbash skin right there. I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to be. Futuristic Greystone, which we kind of got in the form of Iron Man. So many Greystone skins, so many Twin Blast skins. It's just insane. It's just absolutely insane. Just a ton of Rampage skins, Pumpkin Heads, Energy Twin Blast. There's our Super Soaker Twin Blast that we came to learn and love. This is a crazy hero. I think this is Hydro, but this got multiple faces. So yeah, anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you thought any of these were cool, make sure you hit that drop, uh, like button. I am having a hard time talking today for some goddamn reason. But still, nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And as always, make sure I'll have a wonderful day. Peace.